Air mobility is a new modern term that means different kinds of transport capable of floating in the air. Usually, we started meaning AAVs by saying air mobility projects. These are autonomous aerial vehicles that are usually able to take off and land vertically. Autonomous flights are an important feature, all these new machines are able to fly without a pilot, and this opens many new ways of using them in our modern world. Well, we know some big names in air mobility, but we don't even have an idea of how many companies actually work in this sphere. This is the next generation of personal transport as well as delivery equipment, and today billions of dollars are invested to bring this technology to life. Yeah, there are still many things to be done, but the progress is hard to deny. Yi Hang, the Chinese pioneer of air mobility. This company is based in Guangzhou, China. This was basically the first company that announced the AAV production for commercial use. They claim to have started production and development back in 2015. In 2016, when the company introduced its first prototype of the Yihang 184 passenger drone, there had been over 40 hours of manned flights. Well, that's what the company says. Today the company has quite a lot of contracts with different partners, and even with city offices all around the world. They were going to build a separate ecosystem for Dubai Air Taxis back in 2017, but didn't succeed. Yihang was blamed to be a big stock fraud, but today we see that the company is actually one of the most successful in building the technologies for AAVs. Today, the most prominent project is the Yihang 216, which is a passenger drone that can carry two people. Also, there is a cargo drone able to transport up to 200 kilos of cargo at a decent speed. There is a fire drone that is able to put up fires in skyscrapers autonomously, or when controlled remotely. Also, the company builds the VT series of drones that have wings, and can ensure higher speeds and much longer range. Volocopter This company is based in Germany and it also has a range of products. But the only one we have been able to see is the Velocity concept. This drone will be able to transport people within one city. It's engineered for short quick flights. There are other projects like Voliconnect for intercity flights. There is also a cargo drone called Voladrone for transporting goods and parcels. The company has been building an entire ecosystem for safe and precise flights. Within the next three years, they hope to start commercial flights in Paris and in Singapore. This is extremely ambitious, but we also see that the company gets enough investments to develop. Volocopter company has bright future, many experts say. But what they need to do is to start operating their drones commercially. Then we'll see the huge wave of money from the stock market and quick development. And by the way, Volocopter is backed by Intel, and this is a huge advantage for the young company. Joby Aviation This company operates in the US in California. Before developing their own air taxi project, Joby Aviation took part in numerous projects with NASA. Also, the company announced its cooperation with Uber that helped them get the attention heated on the stock market. Then, in 2020, the company started cooperation with the US Air Force in the production and certification of their first AAV. In 2021 Garmin signed the contract with Joby Aviation to supply the flight deck equipment and avionics parts for future machines. The total investments today come up to $1 billion, and that's huge for a company that can be considered a startup in its sphere. Today, Joby Aviation is concentrated on FAA certification of their piloted vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. This personal plane will be able to fly around 150 miles in just a little more than one hour. The aircraft should be able to carry four passengers. And it seems to be the first vertical takeoff aircraft to get the FAA certification in America. Lilium Aviation There is not much to say about this German company. It has prepared wonderful concepts in air mobility, but there are still no products that can be seen as progress. Today, the company is struggling to get more investments, but there is too much criticism for the projects. For example, 
German aerospace engineers are sure that the stated specs of the Lilium aviation projects are unachievable with any current technologies. Who knows, maybe this company will create new technologies and change the world. City Airbus Airbus is working to create another vertical takeoff aircraft called City Airbus. This is a futuristic machine that is going to be able to transport four people to distances of up to 50 miles. The concept looks so good that you may think that you see the leader in the sphere. But the certification is planned for the year 2025, and that's too late to be a leader. But still, we believe the City Airbus has decent chances to become the most successful air mobility project in the future. Mainly because it's sponsored by the Airbus company that knows what the reputation is worth. There are other companies to mention, like Uber Air, Terrafugia, or Kitty Hawk. But it should be enough for today. We'll keep an eye on the new aircraft, and we'll update you once something great happens on the market.